Hello and welcome to another advanced tutorials. Uh, yeah. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be learning about advanced math. So remember how in the basic tutorials I taught you things like adding numbers together in a script, um, like like this, print five plus five. Um, I taught you things like that, minus five times five or divide by five. Now today we're not going to be doing simple stuff like that. We're going to be using mathematical functions like this. So, for instance, if you want to get a random number, you type in math.random and then if you leave the parentheses blank and press play, what it's going to do is it's going to output if it works. It oh, here we go. I didn't print it. Whoops. Anyway, if I print math.random we can see that when I click play it prints a random number between I think it's between 0 and 1 so yeah it prints any random number between 0 and 1 as you can see every time I click play reset play reset it prints a random number between 0 and 1 and you can see that how it's got a huge um, it's just a, a huge decimal place number and it's not been rounded or anything so what I can do is I can use the um, there's two other mathematical functions I want to teach you today there's one which is math.random and then the other two are math.seal and math.floor now these the other two they are types of rounding now let me show you uh, an example let's say I have a variable here called uh, var set it equal to maybe 0 0.5 okay if I print uh, math dot seal uh, var it's going to round math dot I mean it's going to round var but what is it going to round var to well it prints one okay and it's not because uh, var is higher than 0 0.5 or equal to 0 0.5 it's because math dot seal rounds any decimal number upwards to the whole nearest number and it rounds it up it doesn't round it down or up depending on uh, if it's if this number here is or if this digit is higher than 0 0.5 or equal to 0 0.5 it just rounds it up no matter what if it was 0 0.2 and I click play it still round it up to 1 okay and math dot floor okay say I had a uh, 21.9 okay if you round that number to the whole to a whole number you'd expect to get 22 but what math.floor does is it rounds it down to 22 okay uh, I mean to 21 yeah to 21 and as you can see here math.floor rounds it down to 21 okay and that is what those three things do now I'm going to go into a bit more detail um, let's make a function uh, called get random number uh, let's make it a function by writing function that would help function get random number okay and we're going to make it return uh, math dot random okay yeah that's good now say I wanted to print uh, get random number it would just print a random number whoops return let me just quickly do something let's set var equal to math.random and then let's return var so this should work nope it doesn't uh, oh here we go uh, ran number equals get random number oh wait no I did it wrong I forgot to put the parentheses on the end of the function okay this should work again it doesn't work damn it uh, okay I'm gonna do it this way instead var equals get random number print var right now this should work okay something is going wrong uh, let's have a look get random number let me set var equal to 5 see what it does okay so it returns the normal value 5 but it doesn't return random numbers so that is pretty weird and 
don't know why it's doing that, but I'm going to do it a different way then. Let's say ran number equals math.random, okay? Um, now, rounded up equals math.seal ran number. So whatever random number this generates, um, it should round it up, basically. And rounded down equals math dot floor ran number and whatever this makes it should round it down and then we want to print rounded up I'm going to print them on separate lines so and round it down okay now you could probably guess what this is going to print because ran number uh, generates a number between zero and one um, rounded up is probably going to be 1 and rounded down is probably going to be 0 so let's have a look if that works and it doesn't work, damn it line 4 uh, let's see it got function, oh I know I forgot to put the parentheses on math.random that's why ok I guess it's because I'm tired there we go, now it works you can see rounded up prints 1, rounded down prints 0 and yeah make sure you put the parentheses on math.random or it will just it will give you a function because math.random is actually a function uh, that gives you a random number it's a mathematical function and if you don't put the parentheses on the, on the end then it won't give you the value that it returns it will just give you the actual function and you, you don't want that so now I'm going to teach you one more thing in the math.random bit which is parameters in math.random okay now as you can see I've put a parameter into math.random 5 uh, what do you think that's going to do well let's have a look uh, I've rounded it math.random okay now if you see it prints a random number in, in between 1 and 5 but it rounds it to the whole to the to a whole number basically okay so it no longer gives me this long decimal number when you put a whole number into the parentheses then it gives you a whole number it gives you five now I haven't tried this before but if I say if I declare two decimal places then I'm going to try and see what I get from this hold on let me try it again five 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 point five five uh, nope, it doesn't give me a decimal answer. Anyway, so you get the point. If you put a number into the parentheses, then it returns a value in between 0 and that number that you put in there. At least I think it's 0. I don't think it's 0. I don't know if it includes 0 into it. You need to experiment with it yourself and see what, what numbers you get. I think it's just 1 and 5. So in between 1 and 5, including 1. Okay, so if I were to... Uh, say set another parameter so let's give it two arguments 5 and 10 what this would do is it would create a random number in between 5 and 10 so you see and that's what you can do with math.random all you've got to do is make sure that uh, your first argument is not bigger than your second argument I'm not sure if it will work properly yeah you see it doesn't work properly if you're first argument is bigger than your second one you've got to always make sure that your first one your first argument is always less than your second argument so as long as this is less than that then it's fine so as you can see this will uh, make a random number between 5 and 20 and so on so hopefully you get math.random math.seal and math.floor um, also there are other math mathematical functions like math.sign uh, your value into the sign 20 um, but these are things that I mean unless you actually know what you're doing with maths and physics you wouldn't really need to use math.sign in a game um, that's probably something I'll teach you in the really advanced tutorials in fact I'm not even sure I'll be teaching you that soon anytime soon but things like math.sign cos math.pi in fact math.pi all this does is it gives you pi so again, unless you don't know, unless you know what maths is, then 
math.py should in fact try to call on the number field. Uh, let me just see if I can get something out of that. Okay, I can't get anything out of that. I haven't really used this. I don't really use this much <laughs> in in Lua, but you get the point. Try and play around with um, all the mathematical functions you can possibly get, uh, especially math.random, math.floor, math.seal. Those are the main ones you need to know. Um, all the other ones, you don't really need to know them unless you plan on making some sort of super physics game. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye.